Hey, what is happening, everybody? You're back with the Real PG for another Prize Picks NBA video for Monday, October the 24th. Before we get started, if I could please ask you guys to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and check out the free Discord. The link is in the description. I got a bunch of plays for you guys, so we're going to get right to them today. Starting off in game one, we're going to be looking at James Harden. And his points, rebounds, and assist. So Harden has got there two out of the first three games. And if we go to his player prop, and we take a look at James, he is juiced to a minus 145 on his PRA to the over and a plus 109 to the under. Uh, so basically all of his lines now that I'm looking are at the exact same thing. So his, his over rebounds is minus 148, PRA minus 145, points minus 143, and assist minus 145. So literally the PRA is a slam dunk play unless you like any of these specific ones more. If you like re rebounds, look solid. He's gotten those every time. Um, maybe assist is a look. Um, I personally like the PRA, but I can't fault you for liking rebounds. I'm going to go ahead and just put rebounds in for this one because I'm going to build myself a lineup up here live on stream. <laughs> and I have not used that pick yet. So next we're going to be looking down at Tyrese Halliburton. We're going to be looking at his assist as well as his points, rebounds, and assist. So his assists are at 8.5 right now. He's cleared that with 10 and 12 in the last two games. PRA is set at 32.5, and he has hit that all three of his games. I'm going to lock the PRA in. It's at a minus 138 to the over on the books at 32.5. Uh, and the under comes in at a plus 104. If we look at it as a cis prop, though, it does even come in higher at minus 159 to the over, plus 119 to the under. So, like I said, as a cis is the other look you could take, uh, whichever you prefer. I just feel more comfortable because he has gotten there all three days. Um, I get this is probably a, a better matchup you know as far as it goes for his assists versus his points today is clearly what's going on but i don't see any way they're stopping 32 and a half he's cleared that every single game of flying colors next <coughs> okay the next two picks both have caveats they're more of a lean um a because they play for the magic b because they're just not great plays in the sense that they just they can't be trusted. Cole Anthony, five and a half assist. Let's take a look at it though. So Cole Anthony is at a straight five five on prize picks and he has cleared it only one game. Okay. The reason I listed it is because it is at a minus one forty to the over plus 105 to the under. Um, you could also look at his PRA if you if you really want to play Cole Anthony today. He's hit that two of three games, but it's been very close. He does have a good matchup against the Knicks, but again, that is just a look. You know, nothing more than that. Uh, same goes for his teammates. Oops, get off there, James. Not as my fault. Uh, I guess I don't have another magic play. I thought I did. Okay, we're just going to look at Jalen Brunson, and we're also looking at his assist in PRA. So he has cleared one hit and pushed one for his assist and his PRA. Again, he's hit two, missed one. The only reason, again, I listed them is because of what the Vegas juice is on them. So Jalen Brunson's assist comes in at a whopping minus 187. 
187 over 5.5 and they actually have it at 6 so it is just a little bit of a discrepancy he's hit the 6 number only 2 times but that thing is cooked at minus 187 so that's why I gave it the play uh, it's plus 139 to the under do what you want with that his PRA isn't a bad look just because he's hit that more frequently than he's hit the assist prop despite the line value um i did have another magic play i knew he had a, i had a teammate play for cole anthony so we had franz we're gonna look at franz wagner and his rebounds and he has gotten there with six and seven in the last two matchups at four and a half i think this is a pretty good line for wagner uh so you can go ahead and list that for an over 4.5 rebounds on the books it is at a minus 130 to the over minus 102 to the under uh so again caveat is it's a magic player they can't be trusted they're not good but you know he, at least franz has hit it convincingly three times this season and been hitting four just underneath the prop the other two games so there is some consistency in Franz Wagner at least so do what you will with those two plays the Brunson or the the Anthony Brunson and Wagner plays honestly next we're going to go to Banchero so if we look at his points as well as his PRA Points come in at minus 154 to the over 18.5. PRA comes in at minus 153 to the over 28.5. If we look on here, they're both juiced up one at 19.5 and 29.5. Hit all three games for points. Hit all three games for PRA. But it's been close, and you see it's declining. It's coming down each game. 41, 34, 31 for PRA points has been similar 27 20 23 uh, again he's been super consistent guys i can't knock that not for a second so he's gotten me there almost every day i've played him so far i hate to stop taking them today so i think that's a good look either way on points or pra for Banchero. All right, next we're going to jump into the next game of Toronto and Miami, and we're going back to good old Freddie Van Vliet and his assist prop. Last time we took that at five, he had it within the first quarter, I want to say. Uh, they got it at five and a half today, juiced at minus 177 to the over, plus 134 to the under. They have it at six on prize picks. I do not give a shite. I am locking that one in. 9 and 10 the last two matchups the last matchup was against miami the same team they played today he had 10 i don't see why he can't do it again today lock that shit in fred van bleet over six next kyle Lowry, his teammate who's going to be making the shots on the side of his assist hopefully kyle he's hit there 17 and 17 the last two games uh, so, oh, I'm tripping. <laughs> uh, I'm tripping today. We're going back and forth, weaving back and forth between my plays. Not teammates again. So we're looking at Kyle Lowry here, 11.5 points. <laughs> it's trippy because they just played each other. This is really confusing me. Okay, so anyways, he had 17 <laughs> against Boston. He had 17 against Toronto the other day. He has, I don't see him going much under that today. If we look at Lowry's numbers on the book, it's coming in on a modest minus 130 to the over, 11.5 points, minus 102 to the under. I like the play just because he's been consistent. He just had the same matchup, and he just hit it by a lot. He almost, you know, by 33% extra, so that's a lock as far as if he's going to repeat what he just did next we're going to look at Jalen Brown 
Um, personally, these numbers are a little higher than I'd like them to be, but Jalen Brown is an exceptional player uh, of the basketball, and if we look at his points, they come in at over 22.5 at minus 149 to the over, plus 111 to the under. PRA comes in at a minus 152 to the over, plus 115 to the under at 31 and a half. So, but they're both juiced up by one point on prize picks. What a shocker. Uh, tough game, last game for Brown. In all aspects, he missed. The first two games, he looked great. I don't see why he wouldn't look great against this Chicago team today. So, based on matchup and past performance, I like the Lions. Uh, based off the last game he had, it's a little scary. Just, But it is, again, it's Jalen Brown. So, not someone you need to hold your breath. Like, is he going to have a good game? He's probably going to have a good game. Next, his teammate. For sure his teammate, Jason Tatum. And we're going to be looking at Tatum's points, rebounds, and assists also. Man's been absolutely balling. Not much more to say. If we look at his numbers, PRA comes in at, again, a pretty modest number of minus 133 to the over, plus 100 to the under. His rebounds, if you like that, look more. It's over 7.5 on the books. It's it's 7.5 on prize picks, so they did not steal the value. He's been hitting that left and right too even through the preseason so also not a bad look if you'd rather be on assist but again I prefer the points rebounds and assist alright next going to the Chicago game oh, same game Zach Levine and his assist prop at Minus 145, it has come down a bit from minus 157 earlier to the over. Uh, Currently at minus 145 to the under, it's at plus 110. Let's take a look at Levine's line on here. I don't know how much I trust Zach Levine. It is at 3.5. He's hit it pretty consistently, but the game that he didn't, he had zero, and that... That really scares me that he put up a donut, and they're playing Boston. And Boston is not a bad team defensively. Um, I haven't watched a lot of Bulls this year, in all transparency, so I don't know how Levine has looked. I like the look based on the number in the sports book. That is it. It doesn't go past that. So, again, more of a lean. But if you like that play, there it is. Uh, next, we're going to go to uh, Okay, hold on a second. <laughs> uh, okay, I guess it is the next game. I don't even know who he plays for anymore. So hard to keep track of all the trades. Uh, this has got to be it, though. Laurie Markkinen, here we go. All right, so Markkinen, we're looking at his points, rebounds, assists today. And right now that comes in at a minus 137 to the over 31.5, plus 104 to the under. This one is a little bit more of a lean as well because I have not watched him play this year outside of maybe five minutes of one game um, when they were playing against Minnesota. So he has hit consistently the last two games, 42 and 45. So like flying colors cleared it. Uh, The line is good. So based off of that, I like the play. Again, I haven't seen it. And with my own eyes, I haven't really got to see much of his play this year, so I can't say, like, lock that in there. But I do like the play. All right. Next, we're going to be going to one of my faves, Dame Willard. 
And oddly enough, today we're going to be looking at Damien's assist. So his assist on the books come in at five. Wow. Major line shift. Might be coming off this live. But uh, over 5.5 assists for Dame Lillard. And if we look at what Dame's been doing first. No, that is not the right prop. It, it's rebounds prop. Thank you. Okay, it is the rebounds prop. I was going to say that line looks cooked. Where is it at? Where is rebounds? There we go. Damian Lillard rebounds over 3.5 at a minus 163. That sounds more like it. Plus 121 to the under. Dame has hit this line at 4 and then 7, then 5. I think we can get four at pushing it. Worst case today, Dame has been exceptional. Minus game one shooting affair. Uh, so I'm pretty confident in this play. Go ahead and lock that one in. And then we will slide down to Josh Hart, who uh, blew me in. I think everyone else out of the water with his rebounding at the last game. 16. 16, and Josh Hart does not compute in my head, but every game this year he has had six or higher. The line's six and a half right now. If we look at Hart on the sports book, Josh Hart's rebounds is set to 6.5 at a minus 134, plus 101 to the under. Uh, after yesterday, I believe that was, I can't shy away from this, really. Uh, despite having Lillard's rebounds, too, I think that they can both get there as their lines are both set relatively low. I mean, 11 rebounds in a game is not anything crazy that two teammates could not both get their rebounds props hit, so... I think you can lock in Josh Hart as well for rebounds. Um, oh, what else do I got? Two more for you guys. We got Michael Porter Jr. And we're going to be looking at his points. Porter's been looking good. He um, has had preseason even, had 17 one of the games, and then 15, 17, 22 outside of that. So he's right around this 15 number. Uh, sports books got Mike Porter coming in at a minus 149 to the over 15.5 my plus 113 to the under I think this is a pretty solid play can put that one in there and then last but not least Nikola Jokic and we're going to be looking at his assist and his rebounds I like both his rebounds pushed his uh, two games ago had 16 against OKC and assist he last two games he's at 10 and 13 with a line of 8 today uh, if we look at Jokic in the book Nicola comes in at minus 162 over 7.5 rebounds on here they have it at uh Hold on. I read that wrong. Cole Jokic, 7.5 assist at minus 162 to the over. They have it at 8 assist on prize picks, stealing a half point of value. Uh, but again, he has had 10 and 13 in the last two games, so I like the play. The number is pretty convincing at minus 163. <laughs> And then last, we have the rebounds at 11.5. Again, prize pick steals a half point of value and bumps it to 12. 11.5 comes in at a minus 140, so not as strong of a line considering it's 12. But he has hit the rebounds in the last two games. He has pushed and been over. Uh, has a good matchup for rebounds today against Portland. So that is it. Um I'm going to recap all these plays because they all won't fit. All right, so we've got Harden's points, rebounds, assist to the over. Halliburton's assist or points, rebounds, and assist to the over. Uh, leans of Cole Anthony, assist PRA, over. 
a lean of Brunson's assist and PRA to the over. Then we had Franz Wagner and his 4.5 rebounds to the over. We have Banchero, points and PRA to the over. Van Vliet's assist to the over. Lowry's points to the over. Jalen Brown's PRA to the over. Jason Tatum, PRA to the over. Zach Levine, assist to the over. Jalen Green, rebounds to the over. Lori Markinen as a lean PRA to the over. Dane Lillard, rebounds over. Josh Hart, rebounds over. Michael Porter, points over. And Jokic, assist and rebounds over. So that is everything I've got for you guys today. A few of those are leans. Some of those are likes, and maybe one or two of those I find is locks. I think Halliburton is a lock. Let me look what else. I think Van Vliet is a lock. And I think those are probably the two closest to a lock today that I would have for you guys. So that's everything. If you're, ch- you're going to be tailing, I wish you the best of luck. Uh, yesterday, almost all my plays went right, but I wasn't able to mix and match anything to come through. Uh, so we had the C.D. Lamb let down of a yard and a half. We had the Tyreek Hill let down of seven yards. So I had Amon Ross St. Brown get hurt, the concussion after a catch. So in a great matchup. It happens. Tough day yesterday. Hopefully today comes out a little better. I uh, gave a lot of picks out. Again, they're not all sure things by any stretch of the imagination. Those are just a borderline of plays that I think are valid plays. Keep that in mind. They're not all plays that I am absolutely in love with today. So that is a disclaimer. Um, Most of the times, I don't give out any plays that I'm not in love with, but I want to give you guys a pretty wide base to go with today, and you can filter down those plays to what your favorites are and make your own two, three, four, five-man lineups in. So again, if you're tailing, wish you the best of luck. Until the next one, guys, peace. NFL video will be coming out right after this.